All right, hello everyone. Today is what? Today's the 17th of May. Let's take a look at what happened yesterday. Now, let's divide the screen up in two. Right, so let's take a look. Right, every Monday I put the swing days as well. So I'm just going to show you the swing hours for today. Right, swing days for the week are below there. Now, as you can see, yesterday's hours were 6.38, 7.14. That you might not have caught. Okay, because it was put onto the website a little later, obviously, when I finish everything. Um, however, though, that's nine o'clock, that's seven o'clock, and that's 4.45 there. So 6.38, 7.14, 6 is there. Market just flops down. But what's really more important is after that time, which is when it was given to the members area, now I've said 10.54 to 11 o'clock. This is 10.45. If I turn this into a five minute chart, right? Uh, also remember, right, we put in pricing. So these, if you watch yesterday's video, what you'll see um, is that I put pricing there based on our PST indicator on the weekly and so forth. Uh, you know, the weekly, daily and so on. So having said that, um let's see what those prices were see there's 1800 1785 and 1778 so putting those on there is really important because according to this we're you know we're looking for price and time together never are we ever trading based on just astrology astrological timing or <coughs> just based on technicals we've got to match them both and this is a five minute chart now look at that this is 1050 and i've said 10 54 11 all right so that's just six minutes apart all right that's that all right so there you go as you can see market goes 10.55 there, 10.54, 10.55. Market starts going up from that price area. So that's really good. And then we've got 12.18, 1.11. As you can see, what's 12.18, 1.11. This is 1.11, as you can see. The market's come down for a dip and going up again. 12.18, where's 12.18? This is 12.18 bar there. So the market's carrying on. As you can see, it's just pushing up every time it comes back at those hours. And then we've got 339. 339 is there. Once again, the market pushing up. And then that's what, 430. That's 430, the market pushing up again. So on every dip, as you can see, they're buying upwards. And then we're going up until what? What's that? That's 10 o'clock there. That's 2018 there. All right, so the market went up to 2018. And then the market went up into there later on. Now, this red zone, if you look at the video from yesterday as well, 16th of May video, then you'll see that we have levels, right? I always mark technical levels as well. So let's push this back into the one-hour chart. And then that's where we want to head towards. And that's another white line there. And that was a PST level. All right. So getting these levels right is very important. Sometimes people ask, so you're matching the targets with time as well? Yeah. Because you want to match the time. You want to match the price as well. And if you've got a target, you need to have a target. Not if you have a target, but you must have a target. You need to know where you're going. All right. So then you can just enter from there, cover the trade and push it upwards and then you can take the maximum that you can from a trade let's take a look at the euro dollar this is the euro dollar yesterday as you can see it's in a one hour chart i'll just keep it with the one hour chart as you can see that's six o'clock there six o'clock bar seven o'clock bar daily pivot was here yesterday daily pivot is here today market goes up as you can see until what until 11 o'clock 
right? 11 o'clock bar is right here. So anybody could have entered here on the white line at 10.54.11 because you are on the white line going up. Market goes up there until what time? Goes into the sell zone, right? 12.18, 1 o'clock. That's 12. 18, 12, 18, 1 o'clock is there, 12, 18, 1 o'clock. Market's up here, pushes back down into the daily pivot. This is 5 o'clock, got nothing on 5 o'clock. I got 4.33, which is this one. So I've got nothing on 5 o'clock. Market comes here and turns around, goes back up. All right. So that's a nice turning level. This is an okay buy level. This, if you learned astrology from me, you would have done that calculation on your own, especially the daily pivot. If it pulls back, you're just going up. All right, as you can see, the market came up into that red zone again, right? There you go. Let's take a look at, as you can see, the safest way to trade really is using astrology. Again, look at this. Yesterday, daily pivot and the weekly pivot were down here. Market goes up, what, 10 o'clock, as you can see, the 10.54, 11, market just pushes up. Again, from these, you know, levels that are relevant, 6 o'clock, up, 10, 11, up. This is 4, 4 o'clock. Let's take a look at exactly what time, because I had 3.39 to 4.33. Let's turn this into a 15-minute chart. And check it out. Also, because the reason I also say that is because a person could have also um, might have sold. Let's see. Look, this is 445. This is 333 plus. Oh, sorry, that's 430. And we're looking for what? 339, right? 3.39 is pretty much there. This is what I mean. A person could have also sold from here all the way down there. Why? Because it's gone up to that red zone, very close, comes to 3.39. Yep, sell it. Market pushes down. You would have covered the trade there on the weekly, all right? Because you know weekly is dangerous, all right? And it's good to, for reversals. Then the market comes down into 445 <clears throat> and that's it starts going up into the sell zone again so once again understanding targets plus hours entry points you all, you got to bring it all together one without the other is just dodgy trading let's take a look at bitcoin as well see how that panned out Bitcoin, here we are. So where did they sell off yesterday? That's one o'clock there, as you can see. One o'clock bar there. So what do we have? 12.18. That's 12.18. One o'clock. Market makes a U-turn, goes up into the weekly pivot. Like I said, weekly is dangerous. You got to be careful. Market pushes back down. That's two o'clock. That's three o'clock. Three o'clock market open there, four o'clock there. So this was very tricky. All right. What you could have done was sell at the weekly because you would have said, oh, three o'clock, four o'clock, sell at the weekly, push it down. That would have been your best bet yesterday on this one. All right. So knowing when to trade technically and astrologically, it's quite important if you want to trade safe. Why? Because if you're selling here on a weekly and you understand this is where the market can turn because the hours are correct, then you just put a stop loss very, very tight, just above the weekly, very tight. So you'll always get a one to two at least risk return, at least, at least. Okay. Very tight stop loss because if you have made a miscalculation, misjudgment, then your stop loss will be um very small however though if your astrology and your price are correct your winnings will definitely be good it'll be at least like i said at least one to two risk return so that's what's important here
All right, so I hope that helps. And the swing days, I will make a video on that on Saturday and see how you go. Oh, by the way, guys, we're, we're opening up. What are we opening up? We're opening up the Patreon and the Substack sites in 19 days. That is the 6th of June. Uh, I'm going to get a little page ready for that and post it up there as well. There, what we're going to do is we're going to have our crypto portfolio. We're going to open our crypto portfolio up so everyone can follow that portfolio. Also, the trading I'm going to be doing our trades on there as well. So when I'm entering a trade, whatever, I'll be putting it on there. Okay, I'll be saying, listen, guys, I'm entering blah, blah, blah at this point and so forth. All right. So we'll be sharing those as well. But the more important one, if you're a um, crypto fan as well, or if you're thinking about the future, like we'll be, thinking, we'll be planning ahead for that. Because what do we want to do? We want to make our own portfolio now, just like we would in our shares and stock portfolio. And we just manage that throughout the years. That's what exactly we're going to do. So for the short, medium, and long term, we're going to put a little basket of cryptocurrencies together and we're going to be managing them so that we can uh, accumulate wealth over time with that. Just like think of it like the dot-com bubble that you know burst in the early 2000s and the prices really fell. So we feel that this is a good opportunity to start building on a crypto fund for ourselves, right? So we'll be having it and accumulating it for the future for us, you know, and the kids and so on. All right. So if you want to follow that, manage that live with us all the time and be on top of the market because we've got a team working on it all the time. So we're always going to be, you know, evaluating what's in there, what we need to liquidate, what we need to add, subtract, all that kind of stuff. You can follow it live with us every day. All right. In the interim, I have a good one. And good luck with your trading.